Coral Restoration Project or Coral Nursery Karanglestari, just off the beach of Tamansari Resort, has been an incredible successful project. In the year 2000, the area looked very much like this, with hardly any coral growth or fish. With the help of Pamotoran village to protect the area and the use of bio-rock technology, this was magically transformed to a beautiful coral garden. Let me show you some examples. This structure named Goa Karang sank in the year 2000 showed after two years some good results. Today this structure has matured into a solid reef with many different corals and a variety of fish and damselfish making it their home. This structure named the Nautilus was sunk in 2001 the metal structure still has no limestone and the area where the cables are laid is still bare of corals. May 2013, the structure is now filled up with corals and the area where the cables were laid is a fantastic coral garden. And as the corals grew on the bio-rock structures and the area around them, so did the fish population. Since 2001, the village of Pamotoran has implemented a ban for cyanide and bomb fishing in Pamotoran Bay and a no fishing area for the BioRock project. This has resulted in an increase of fish stock in the bay, not only benefiting the fishermen and Tamansari Resort, but the whole of Pamotoran village. Businesses like hotels, homestays, dive shops, restaurants and shops have multiplied many times in the last 10 years. Every year, more fish species are seen in our project. The ever-growing variety of coral species and the bi-rock structures give the fish protection and make it a perfect breeding ground. Over the years, the interest in the project became more apparent. We were only supported by private sponsors, mainly through Tamansari Resort, but we needed an information center with multi-functions. This was to give information, to maintain the project on a daily basis and at the same time create an income for the maintenance and the salary for the local staff. In 2008, we opened the BioRock Center and started to sponsor the Baby Coral Project. Small structures were created with the names of the sponsors and a coral next to it. Interested tourists loved this concept and so far we were able to survive. Celia Gregory from the Marine Foundation designed the coral goddess. A female deity made out of volcanic rock sits on a bi-rock structure in the form of a lotus flower. 
She was put in the ocean in May 2011 and is the only structure so far in the Karangli Starry project powered by wind and solar. Now, two years later, the corals on the structure have grown and even the rock statue is showing coral growth. Another artist, Joy Ellis, used recycled bicycles sitting on a discarded metal gate. This is another favorite by rock structure. Kumang Astika is involved in the project since the year 2000. He is now working as a dive instructor at our supporting dive shop Bali Dive Academy next door. He is also the manager of the Pyrox Center. Mari Gunaksa, inspired by Celia and other artists, uses his skill of welding to create artistic sponsor structures. Here are a few of the many structures. The Rock Project, known worldwide, is now one of the major tourist attractions. What makes the Bio Rock Project Karangestari so successful is a combination of the protection by Pamutaran Village, Bio Rock Technology and the maintenance by a dedicated team. <music> 